channel. If you are one of my A1 from day one subscribers, hello, you guys, I miss you. And if you are new to my channel, hello and a big welcome. Mwah. I hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel. We have some fun over here, or at least I try. <laughs> But today's video is actually a part two of my social media planner setup series. And if you haven't yet checked out part one, I suggest you head on over back to check out that video and then tune back into this video so that you can be up to speed and you know what's going on. But in part one, I showed you how I created my video checklist, which was inspired by Miss Antonisha Lachey. I saw one of her videos and saw how she was setting it up and it just made sense because I was already doing something like that already. So it just made sense and it is going very well for me. So I'm going to continue to do that um, for the rest of 2019. Also, I showed you how I set up my monthly schedule and creating a schedule for me and mapping out my videos so that I'll know how I want everything to flow and just being creative. So if you're new to planning or new to social media and trying to figure out where to start and schedule out your videos, this will be something that will be helpful to you so that you can kind of see, be more visual to um, your videos and seeing what works for you. Either it's putting out one video a week, two videos, three or five a, a week. However, um, but it'll be able to, you'll be able to see firsthand what works for you and how you can schedule your videos. So right now it's working for me by doing and posting three videos a week and sometimes I add in either a live stream video or I may add in a bonus video. So I give myself that wiggle room to allow myself to do that. So um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the extra videos that are coming out in between my three videos a week. So this week I'm going to be showing you in the part two series how I'm setting up my weekly schedule based off of my monthly and I'll be planning for the week of February the 18th through the 25th. Now I added a little bit of fun to this because that's just what I do. I like to do it. I love to make people laugh. So I added a little bit of character to it. So I hope you guys enjoy and please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. But let me give you a little bit of history. So on one of my live videos, my last actually live video, I'll try to make sure I link it in the video um, and check that out after this, after you see this part two. Um, checked out that video, but in that live stream video, I was able to hang out with Jasmine Silver and Miss Miranda with Miss Thinking of a Master Plan. We had a ball. You hear me? We had a blast. We were able to interact with so many planner babes. I won't give you all the details because you just have to go in and watch it yourself. And make sure you click on that um, live chat so you can also see what all the other planner babes are talking about. We had a blast. So in, in that video, we were just talking about planner things and how, how when we met up, we were able to help some other planner babes come up with different ideas and starting their journey in the planner community. In between that, I got distracted because Miranda has an awesome craft space and I was distracted by all the, the stickers that she had. And that started from going through the stickers to a sticker challenge. So now we have a hashtag budget sticker challenge. And so that's what I'll be incorporating into this video. And to give you a little piece of what I'm doing, just, oh, my theme that Miranda chose for me for my sticker challenge, I am to create a spread using a Cowboys and Indians theme. I'm just going to leave it as that. I wasn't too thrilled about it, but. I'm going to make it do what it do. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the entertainment and the laughter, but yet making sure that you see how I'm able to use that and still be functional in my social media planner. So you guys, I hope you enjoy. And again, just stay tuned because I'm on the Western theme, Cowboys and Indians. Bang, bang. Just saying. So again, you guys, thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoy part two of this social media planner setup series. Howdy partners, welcome back to my plan with me. This is Southern Tea Time and I am going to be doing my social media planner plan with me in my Cowboys and Indians theme. So stick around if you want to see how this cowgirl gets on her plans. Yeehaw! Alright, so before we get started, I couldn't keep up with that accent. 
I was laughing too much. So I just figured I'll just go right on into this. But I want to just go over some of the materials that I'll be using. Of course, this is what my spread is going to look like. This actually came from the Paper Studio um, stickability line. Um, and it came with feathers. I have nine blue feathers here and 11 orange feathers here. And then I'm also going to be incorporating a few of these washies. I'm not for sure. Um, but let me give you a little history on this washi. I'm thinking about incorporating it and making it or um, putting this in to imagine that this is a railroad track. So that's my thought process. Just thought I'd tie that in. I wish I had some choo-choo trains so that I can put that as well and some little horsies. But I'm just going to work with that, what I have. And since these feathers are die cuts, they are not stickers. So I thought what I would do is bring out my handy dandy sticker maker machine and I would just run each of these through there to give it an adhesive backing so that I can lay them down um, as stickers along in, into my spread. And of course I'll be using my X-Acto knife and my um, tweezers which I don't have on hand with me. But these are what I'm going to be using um, and I really love this pen. I can't put it down. So that's why I have this in my hand. No particular reason why, but just love it. Um, so yeah, I am going to be planning for the week of February the 18th through the 24th. And this is also um, almost like a two part. Um, it's my um, hashtag budget sticker challenge. And if you didn't know where that came from, I'll make sure to link that video in there. But I also talked about it in my intro. I will also try to link that video um, in this video so that you can go on over and check that video out after this one so that you get a history of how we came about this. A lot of us planner babes got in on this challenge. This challenge just came out of the out of the blue and it was something fun that I did on my live channel and we just had a ball. And so a lot of you participated. And so I hope you guys like what you see. And also, this is also going to be tied into my social media planner setup series part two of part part two of three. So this is the second part and I'm going to be showing you how I'm planning for my weekly spreads inside of um, to coincide with my monthly spread. So hang on tight, you guys, and let's get this party started. Yeehaw!
All right, everyone, this is my finished spread. I will go in and start putting things in um, after this video. But I had so much fun creating this spread and using my Cowboys and Indians theme. So it was super fun. So thank you, Miss Miranda, with Miss Thinking of a Master Plan for destashing your stickers and seeing how I'm able to use it um, in this spread. So your, your stickers did not go to waste. Trust me. So I had so much fun with this, but I also wanted to um, let you know that even though you may want to keep certain things or track certain things in your social media planner, you can also make it fun and functional by using um, themed uh, stickers or anything that will keep you motivated to want to come back because this is like super fun to me. I'm looking at this and it's really, really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just want to talk you through a few things. As always, you know, I like to put my um, headers here instead of putting um, the headers at the top, even though it has the seven spaces. I don't really need all seven spaces, as you can see here. I just like to keep up with my YouTube film schedule, and that's why I have those here and here, um, just to kind of keep up with those. And then also my filming, anything that I want to film. If I filmed anything this week, I want to put it on the days that I film it for. Just for me, that's my personal preference, just to kind of keep up with things. And um, things that I film, I can either um, put towards the next week for next month or so forth and so on. But these are videos that I've already filmed and I have ready to go to be placed in there. So when I do my March monthly section, then I can, re I can move those videos that I already filmed and I can move them to my March uh, monthly section. So... Um, with my stats, I like to keep up with my stats far as my YouTube subscribers and my Instagram followers. And I only do that because again, that's my personal preference. You don't have to really go necessarily by this, but you can use this sidebar to track whatever you want to track. If it's YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, uh, your Facebook page, your website, all that you can do that on this section here and you may choose to put those sections at the top and then leave your dates on the side but this is just my personal preference i like it this way because then i get a whole week's view here instead of a monday through friday section because some days i may be able to film or edit on these days and i want to make notations of that so that's why i have it set up the way that i do but let me explain to you again, if you didn't catch the first part, or you probably fast forward the first part. This, I use these black and white striped uh, washi tape just to give it some character. It reminded me of a, ra a railroad track, and because I don't have trains, I couldn't use or put trains there to notate that, but that's what I thought. And then my green, I just kind of tie in with the spread, but also that can, if you use your imagination, that's grass. So I just thought I made it fun and... Just wanted to make this series a little fun today. And so I just thought I'd tie this in with this series. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up for this video. And also don't forget to give me a big yee-haw in the comment section if you enjoyed this video. So you guys, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on part three of this series.